Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what messages in love you have today. I said all messages be brought for your best and greatest good. And the message that is most important for fire signs to hear. Let's see what your energy is fire signs all right the five of swords and the ace of pentacles just came out bottom of the deck is a star with that the person's the person that you are dealing with in love oh my goodness way too many <laughs> let's try that again who are fire signs dealing with in love of fortune in reverse could be dealing with another Sagittarius um, or this could be your energy and the person you are dealing with could be an air sign or an earth sign doesn't have to be obviously those are just the energies we embody all right the energy coming in for this situation my goodness <laughs> what is the energy coming in for I tell you what, this is crazy. Energy coming in for our fire signs. Thank you. The nine of swords. And the ten of cups. Interesting. All right. Spirit's advice for the situation. Thank you. The Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. And the outcome of a situation that can be changed due to free will is the Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck and shared energy, the Knight of Pentacles. Clarified with the Devil and the Five of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, pretty heavy here. We'll put those off to the side for a second. Long-term energy, however, is the star card. So very positive outlook for the future. So either you or the person you are dealing with is walking away, running away from a situation that is not good. One of you is doing what's best for you and walking away. <clears throat> ready to defend your decision ready putting down the cheating situation for some of you putting down those three of swords and taking the two of swords and making a decision and walking away ready to defend that decision walking through a new door of opportunity um, no longer self-sabotaging for some of you um, this opportunity this new beginning um, that you are moving forward to take or the person that you are dealing with um, in the past, somebody was trying to keep things from changing, trying to keep things from ending. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some of you, they were afraid to be successful. Um, you were afraid that this would make you too happy, that this would make you, uh, that this was what you wanted. You were afraid of the fall is what I just heard. So some of you could have been afraid that this was too good to be true. Um also, this means for some of you that it wasn't time. It wasn't time for this to move forward. It couldn't get off the ground in the past because it wasn't time yet. But now um, you'll find success. It is going to be moving forward. And you're successfully coming out of this low time. This, this I don't say bad karma, but, you know, having the bad luck. The, the why does this always happen to me this type of energy. Um and really, for some of you, you're hearing good news. Uh, your hopes and your expectations are being fulfilled. For some of you, this is, you know, like something negative ended up being, turning out to be something super positive. So 
um, you know, like you missed the train to work today. So you were 10 minutes late and got fired, but on your way home, somebody you seen an ad and you were offered the job of your dreams. So what you thought started out being something negative really is turning out to be something positive. It all happened for a reason. It's all in perfect divine timing with that star card. The energy coming in towards you, there is a lot of anxiety and worry over this ending of one situation and beginning of another. Oh, my ears just started ringing. Let's see what this is all about. Why is the Ten of Cups? Whoa. Okay, so the first group of cards that came out. This has to do with your stability, has to do with coming together with somebody. Um, the Nine of Swords, the stress, the worry, the anxiety is over somebody in your past where either you snuck around, somebody else snuck around on you, or you two were sneaking around. Um, so you're worried if they're coming towards you. You're worried if this was just sex. You're worried if this was just, you know, a fling um, because they have been stuck. You're worried if they're ever going to get out of being stuck. You're worried if you could ever get unstuck out of this situation. Um, there's a lot of stress and worry, but this was a cycle. Somebody is breaking free and walking away from a cycle. Whoever this first position is, fire signs, they are breaking out of this cycle and walking away. No longer letting the nine of swords um, stop them because we have the five... Then we have the 7, 8, 9, and 10. But this person that you've been waiting on, um, that you've been stressing out about, they are getting out of a place of being stuck, or this is you, fire sign, um, walking away from a situation that's been dead and gone for a long, long time, um, but they were still staying stuck in that situation, and finally moving forward towards wish fulfillment. Um this could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. Once again, um, this is your life partner that you're dealing with. This person is returning to you or you will be meeting this person because you are meant to be with this person. They're going to bring in stability, happiness. Um, also, somebody could have had to gain their stability before they could come forward and make you this offer. But it is going to end in stability with that four of wands because they're going through this major awakening. Um, or you are fire signs. One of the two. Spirit's advice. The page of pentacles. Why is that here? Um, they could be coming forward and making you a offer or you could be making a small offer to somebody else. Why is the page of pentacles here? Thank you. Wow, look at that. So somebody's coming forward to give you this offer or you're offering it because you feel with the three of pentacles, this is your spiritual connection. You source and your person. You feel this is a deep soulmate. Um, and you have, there's a lot of passion here between the two of you. However, do not give too much. Remain balanced. Don't give more than you're getting or this is going to fizzle out very quickly. Um, yeah, don't go too fast. This is something that needs to be gone very slow. Um, you need to look at everything that the universe is trying to show you. Why is the four of cups here? Oh my goodness. Way too many. Why is the four of cups here? The world. Yeah. So be patient. One of you is getting out of a major life cycle. Sorry, I was seeing if it was still recording. I thought it wasn't. One of you is getting out of this major life cycle that has to end before this can move forward. There's a burden that has to be released, a burden that has to be um, let go of before this can move forward. So you can't move forward with this very fast. You have to um, just... Remember to not give as much or not to give more than what they are giving. That this is going to happen in its own time. Um, but to, re to but to follow your passion. Because this is going to bring the two of you back together. In the outcome. There is going to be communication made. Um, 
with the seven of wands there it's like fighting for this new beginning fighting for this love you are going to come out on top winning this person um for this group of you no matter how how many people are involved you're going to be successful when it comes to um winning a partner whether you've met this person or not that's going to be able to fulfill you emotionally because you will be able to equally give to each other um you have the seven two sevens here um so it is a spiritual connection that you're working with with a life partner i some of you you've met this person some of you you haven't um so keep moving forward follow your passion that's going to bring whoever it is into you because you're going to successfully get an opportunity to have a big love to have a relationship that's going to grow um right now you're at this crossroads trying to decide what to do next you have to untie yourself from one of these before you can move forward um you have to go within and decide which path that is you're looking to everything else everyone else for answers i mean in this card he's looking to the bird for an answer when he has to go within and decide which one he's going to untie from or untie from both. But communication is going to come in very quickly um, for some of you via text message, via email, uh, from somebody that you have been waiting to hear from or somebody new. Because this is Cupid's arrow coming in very quick. Um, but this is the divine partner that you have been waiting for. Like I said, whether you've met this person before or not. Your bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles, is being clarified with a star. So the person that you've been hoping for and wishing for is coming forward, but very slowly. Um, they have had to take care of a lot of things in their own life before this could happen. Healing had to happen. That's why this wasn't moving forward just yet. But when, um, I think Jupiter goes direct today, actually. So once Jupiter goes direct, you're going to be feeling very successful because you're going to be hearing from this person. It's been a slow go, but it's going to move a lot faster now because your prayers are about to be answered. Your wishes are about to come true because divine timing is about to, um, it's like the stars are going to align in time to make this come together. Like this is a destined relationship, whether you met this person or not. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo, but one of you has had to work very hard at releasing this toxic energy of cutting away from a, um, a toxic situation. One of you could have been married in the past and the other person had to save up money, had to work to have the resources to leave this situation. Um, because yeah this toxicity had to be broken had to be ended because that was clarifying the page and the three of swords was clarifying the five of pentacles so this person walked away from you in the past fire signs creating this broken heart creating this sadness um and that's why the healing this healing had to happen as well they could have went back to somebody they were married to and you finally decided to cut yourself away from the situation and take a new door of opportunity. And that's going to successfully um, bring in the right person, whether that be this person that ghosted you or walked away from you at one point in time or somebody new. But either way, your wishes are being granted with this opportunity for big love coming in for you. Is there anything else our fire signs need to know for today? Have faith, I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you very quickly. Um, or you are moving towards somebody very quickly, but this is going to happen very fast. The secret is going to be out. No more secret person, no more secrets, period. Um, cutting away from that, moving forward, no longer being in the dark, no longer letting fear hold you back. You are moving forward and into a big opportunity of love. Or somebody is moving towards you. One of the two, the secret's out, the jig is up, and the relationship for you, fire signs is coming together um, in divine timing, in that right, in the right time, and no sooner, no later. So, all right, fire signs. I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.